Hello, and welcome to a special video today. On the 11th of October 2021, Michael Kickstar Stockley passed away in a car accident, according to his mother and father. And now, October 13th, the news has been revealed today. I'm honestly lost for words. The Siege community is lost as well right now. You know, Kicks lifted this community to new heights and was really a true legend to this community in general. Now, although obviously I haven't met Kix in my life, or he, and he's never heard of me, um, it was always a blast to watch him play Siege on stream or any other games. Uh, watch his excellent casting alongside Intero, especially since those two as a duo, really funny guys. And also the personality he had in general. It's really what made him Kix star. <laughs> And uh, it turned him into a really great guy overall for this community. And while I'm here, uh, if you want to support Kix a little more, or if you want something to remember him, I suggest you subscribe to his Twitch channel so you can get his charm, which you can use in-game to run on your guns so you can at least remember him while you're playing Siege. All you pretty much have to do is link your Twitch account with your Ubisoft account, and then you have to subscribe to his channel, and you're all set. The charm should appear like two hours, I think, from subscribing, so have some patience, and soon enough, you'll have the legendary Kickstart charm. And if you can't subscribe, uh, that's alright, because there is another way you can support him, and it's by voting for Kicks in the Esports Awards. He is currently running for Esports Color Caster of the Year, and even if he's not going to be there to get the award, obviously, I'm pretty sure his family will get the award, he will appreciate us from above because we voted for him, and I really do hope he wins. Like, I know the other color casters, you know, want to win and stuff, but come on, this is special. I really hope he does win it. Anyways, the point of this video, uh, I compiled here some of my favorite moments from Kix, whether it's the godly moments that made him who he was, or the goofiness of himself in Entero. <laughs> and let me just say this right now, I know we're all sad, and I know we're all heartbroken, but we all need to have a good laugh during these times, and pretty much that's why I wanted to make this video, because I think during these tough times we need a pick-me-up, and well, here we go. We're gonna have a rewatch at some of Kix's finest moments and stuff, and also at the end, there is a special clip from him that I think can help many in tough times like now, or whichever you're going through. I think, in my opinion, one of his greatest moments ever, so... I suggest you stick around to the end for that. Anyways, enjoy the compilation. We will miss you dearly, Kix. And so will your family and friends. Love, the Siege community. Friendly, last operator. Okay. <gasps> Behind you. Looks to have been the second one. Wag is going to miss the narrow shot on a nest, but Nest won't miss his. And on full HP, he's gonna have full control of projector. And because of that, able to take down Julio. Psycho whips out the SMG pistol, but the nade from Sexy will shut him down. Kamikaze, the last defender, but he can't make it happen. What a round from Nest, and what a round from Liquid to take it. Michael, when is your ramp up album dropping? Beast Coast. The plant going down. Bio has to cover. And he's gonna do a great job of it, but no! Jarvis drops from CEO! Bio still has time to win the fights, but why are you sprinting, Bio? He won't win the gunfight, and there it is. Xset will take the match. Oh man, Jarvis why? coming in clutch. Oh boy. If you need to let out more rage and frustration, Michael, I understand. You know where he came from! <laughs> Your teammate could only have died from two positions. CEO drop and yellow door. Why are you sprinting? Take the fight! Where are they? Expect a smooth oh, ride from us. us. Oh. Oh. Last chance. Breaking your ally wasn't very challenging. Yo, get the interrogation here. Come on, come here. Please, come, come, come. <laughs> Quick! Oh, no, 
Oh, 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 come here. Do this one as well. Come here, take this one as well. Yeah, he's doing this, the last one. Here, come here. I got, I got you. I got you. How many? Like four interrogations now? Thanks, buddy. That's the. Thanks. Was it like four interrogations? That was all five. Or... No, it was all five. Oh, what? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I think so. Jeez. Yes. Hello. Um, can, can you open this hatch? Yeah, yeah. Kids worried. What, what? Thanks, bro. One's pixel. Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I got lucky. They rushed me. Bruh! We all the way in already? Jesus fuck, dude. Ben is coming from here. I mean, I yeah, saw okay, him. So. I didn't think I'd be that accurate, jeez. Diamond. Another one there, door. Get on my cam. Call me. Where is he? Yeah, I, I can't see him. He's not in VIP, that's for sure. He might be under the hatch or in B. I'm not sure. Oh my god, man. Diffuser located. Disable it. Get the oh, warning. No. I'm coming down the warning. Oh no, it's happening! I saw that frag, Pangu, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Michael. There's some sharks behind us. Ah, oh, oh, go for the We're pit. surrounded! Oh, yes, kid. Ah! Defeated, by the way. <laughs> Breach charge catch. No. Oh, look. Oh, oh, you're a fuck. There's no way you're real. Oh yeah. <laughs> you like you're no playing. Fuck. No way you're real. Wait, yo, so, so I saw him. I saw him deploy after he. Don't make that signal with your hand. Don't. I, I saw. I saw him deploy. Don't do that gesture okay. ever again. He did. The, he did the shield thing. Stop. Why? What is wrong with your brain? L what he did. What's wrong with my brain? You know what they're going to be saying about that. You know. Bartosz, yeah, but you're not our, them. Our social media guy, Bartosz, is going to see Kicks do that gesture and he's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, and you're not Bartosz. <laughs> he's only going to do it now you're that you said it. He's only going to do it because now that you, because you said it. TOS. <sighs> TOS. On my family. You see what I have to work on with? my family broadcast. You see what I have to work with? Are you kidding? I'm not the one making erratic and, and suggestive. You're the one with the erotic mind. I didn't it's an erratic, not erotic. Michael! I assumed you misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> the tweet yesterday from the account where it's like our casters are losing our minds, they're gonna be like our casters are losing their minds. <laughs> He's like a again. double down. It's like again. Uh so Montaigne continuing to be a trend for DZ. And for the rat and uh, for the record, erratic mm. Kickstar, why are you not playing Pro Is League the, anymore? Uh, You're the best player I know. Kickstar actually got banned from Pro League for a gratuitous amounts of hacking. He actually he actually installed every single program known to mankind and just went nuts. The boy went 36 and 0 in a Pro League match and they kicked him out. It's unbelievable. A real tragedy of our times. Shakespeare actually wrote a story about it. It's called Macbeth. <laughs> See, you know the problem though in tarot is people are gonna take that and Put they're that gonna, shit. and it's just going everywhere. You know it's everywhere now. Oh, Kickstarter banned from Pro League. Why are they letting so them cast? You know what, kids? Don't believe everything you read on the internet. That's how World War II got started. <laughs> <laughs> One versus five. <laughs> it's been planted.
active. Protected it all. Oh wow. If you lose this, I'm reporting you. Same. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> oh! Diffuser one <laughs> Intel CPU meltdown meltdown update. I, I haven't heard anything about that. I don't know what's going on with that yet. Any advice for a person with depression? Yeah, man. Listen. Everybody, see, okay, here's what worked for me. I'm gonna tell you what worked for me because I had serious depression, I had suicidal thoughts, I had a lot of nonsense, right? Therapy didn't work for me, you know, uh, talking to people didn't help because I, I, I could talk to them in circles usually. Like, if, if someone tried to get into a logical debate with me, I would just fucking talk with them in circles. Every therapist, they, I, I could keep them going in a loop. It's like they didn't even notice. Or, anyway, anyway, talking to people didn't work for me. Talking to people works for most people. Uh, I would say, for for you just for you it, it it could probably be something that works just fine and i would highly recommend you give it a shot man like just try to talk to a therapist you know what i mean try you don't have to do it and nothing else but give it a shot at least if nothing else and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but what worked for me is i came to the conclusion that i'm not some special snowflake i am nothing worth uh no what is this I am, I, I'm nothing, I'm not more depressed than anybody else, okay? Like, when I, when I was, when I was seriously going through depression, it wasn't, other people are experiencing the same shit daily. It's an ongoing struggle for tons and tons of people. And there's no reason for me to... I got you. Everything's going to be okay. Stay in that headspace. Why the fuck would I? So I just, I, I realized that uh, I'm not special. And that I shouldn't treat myself special, and that other people don't need uh, other people don't need to treat me special, and that this suppression is something that plagues many, many, many people. And I was like, okay, fuck this. I'm just I'm not gonna do this anymore. And I just kind of started trying to be healthier. Nearly toasty. Thank you for the sub. Welcome, psychics, man. I hope you enjoy your stay. Now, that probably won't work for everybody. Okay, so keep that in mind. But it's what worked for me. Um, one thing also is a lot of my depression was stemming from the people that surrounded me. So um, limiting engagement with those people or getting away from those people can also help. So me, I live in Poland all by myself. I don't talk to anybody. And that is, that is absolutely, that's getting away from them, right? I'm, I'm nowhere near anyone who used to cause me grief. So it's all, your, your situation differs, right? But those are the things that work for me. Getting away from the people that, that fucking drug me down, drag me down, whatever. And just realizing that I'm not special. That's what worked. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you could find something that works. Everybody's, uh, everyone's different. We are all different. And there are different ways to address depression in every other person. So again, I would highly recommend you start with a therapist. That's always the first step. Another thing is just to realize that you are in a bad headspace and realize that it's something you can get out of. There are other places outside of depression, all right? You don't have to lock yourself down in that. It's not, it's not a requirement. Just because it's how you've always felt doesn't mean it's how you have to continue feeling. There's somewhere, there is somewhere else, you just have to find it. Anyway, let's play the game now. <laughs> 